गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स अगेन हमें सक्सेना फ्रॉम अलायंस लर्निंग अकेडमी अर्लियर वीडियोज वार मोस्ट अबाउट द ऑटोमेशन द पी एल सी हाउ टू यूज द पी एल सी इन ऑल नो माई स्टूडेंट्स एंड अदर फेलो आस्क मी टू प्रिपेयर सम वीडियोज ऑन द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन पैरामीटर्स सो इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव टेक इन द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर एज अ फ्लो एंड नो टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द इंडस्ट्रियल फ्लो मीजिंग टेक्निक्स सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस session we will see one by one so details of the session will be like this it's the first the application of flow meter why we are using flow meters we will understand first and then we will try to understand doubt of terminologies because you know the working of flow meter but unless until you know what are the terminologies and what are the basics of the flow and how you have to decide a flow meters then you can better understand what the flow meters how you select how you install how you do the operation maintenance and the service of the flow meters right then after we will see different kind of principles and how many kinds of flow meters what is the world market says about the flow meters for a different applications then we will see these five flow meters it's a first is the dp meter differential pressure we will only look for the main meters after we will make a some series we will go in a depth of this but today we will talk about the only orifice meter then second meter will be emf electromagnetic flow meter then third is the vortex fourth is the variable flow meters variable area flow meters and then the mass flow meters after understanding these flow meters we have to also look about the how we will select the flow meters and then the important part when we are using these flow meters in hazardous areas like oil and gas your petrol pumps right so what 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 kind of things we have to consider that time we will see and then we will see various communication protocols and smart devices so these are the flow of flow in this session so we will start one by one now the first question starts from here why we study flow meters or why no no we will say we will what we will say why we are studying this flow meter or we will say why we use instrumentation in a broader sense so this lines are very beautiful lines you cannot manage what you cannot measure so if you we are not measuring and we are not measuring correctly then we are not able to manage the things that is the starting point of instrumentation now application here i have written many applications and you can broadly see there's a there's a you will understand i appreciate the importance of flow metering in industry so first is the very common all of you know this the process and control measurements we use the flow meter then what about this if i have a process then i need to see what is the reading is the local what is the in the remote i want to use this reading as a set point so these are the first kind of application the second is the product movements and flow balancing so we have to understand what are the product is flowing that time so by using the density and all we can also use the flow meters for this particular application then blending what is the blending application the very simple if we are sitting in a room okay home or the hostel or the college or the industry you can think about the blending application also because in the room you are sitting the pants the pants they made with a blending in the morning you take the yogurt or the milk or different kind of things you drink that comes from a blending like your coca cola syrup and the water and all so these are the blending application something and something is mixing with some ratio after that inventory control again this is a very interesting application of the inventory control if you go to the petrol pumps okay if you go oil and gas there's a big tanks you will see there the inventory the today's inventory board if next time you go you see on the any petrol pump so by the flow measurements you know how much how much how much material or the fluid you have in your go down or in a petrol pump then pipeline metering is very simple because you have a pipeline you want to measure how much water or how much chemical or how much fluid is flowing from this place to this place you need to know that 
Then allocation metering. What is the meaning of allocation? That's a very important point nowadays when we talk about energy efficiency and the productivity. Productivity. So here, depending on the process, we we calculate how much how much fluid is required, how much gas is required, how much steam is required for a particular process. So we use a flow meter and we see water is going at that flow or not. Even big societies, in the big societies, what they are doing nowadays, they depending on the population and all, they count how much is liter water is required. So at the at the inlet point, they have a one flow meter, a small RT or PLC, and a control valve. When so much of water is already flowed from this place to this place, and it is sufficient as per the calculation, that valve will close. So this is called the allocation metering application when we talk about the flow. Then product identification. Again, this is a very important, just like the product movement. So you can also identify the which kind of product is is flowing from the flow meter by using the density like a mass flow meter example.